How's it going, folks? My name is Alan, and I am back with another diecast review. And <laughs> yeah, funny story with this one. So first of all, let's just cut right to the chase. Which car am I reviewing today? Danny Hamlin's number eleven FedEx Racing Darlington Throwback from 2019 Wave 12. Now, as I show you the back. As I completely dropped the package. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, great start to this video. <laughs> so, funny story. Um, I went to Walmart. What was it? Yesterday? The day Or no, not yesterday. The day before. And what happened was I found Wave 12. Well, here's the thing. I only have one Wave 11 diecast review on my channel, and that was the William, By the regular William Byron car, the only one I was able to get. Because at the time, I didn't have the money to get more. Well, yeah, when the Wave 11s got put up, which was two weeks after the Wave 10s got put up, those would be the only Wave 11s to get put up at all. Yeah, at my Walmart to be exact. And... Yeah, unfortunately, due to inconsistencies with uh, getting money on my debit card, at the time, I wasn't able to get any. The last two Wave 11s that were on the shelf um, before they got bought, one was a Clint Boyer and the other one was a Paul Menard, the, the throwbacks from the Wave. So yeah, I missed out on all of Wave 11, basically, because uh, the only car I got was the William Byron, which I'm happy I got. But I wanted the majority of that wave. Probably with the exception being the Blaney, uh, Kyle Busch, and what was the other one? Um, there's one other one in that wave I didn't want. But pretty much I wanted majority of the wave. So now with wave 12, again, due to um, not inconsistencies with money, but... The possibility that I might not be getting any more money right now due, due to um, certain circumstances. Just, I mean, I can. It's just the problem is um, is getting it on my card. And, of course, you know, with the, what's going around right now, um, certain things are closed. And that includes the service credit union inside my Walmart. But that's a whole other discussion for a whole other day. Um, point is, this and possibly possibly one more car or truck if I get the Biffle one um, which would be tomorrow um, unless something happens and I do get another 20 bucks soon um, these this and the either the Biffle truck the Byron car the Trucks Junior car or well when I went and looked they didn't have the liquid color variant of the Elliott car so but that's the only other car I want um, in this wave. So yeah, these three and the liquid color of the Elliott car. But we'll see what happens. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, another funny story. I have not bought a new Denny Hamlin die cast in well, if we're not counting his um, his Darlington Xfinity Series throwback from earlier this from earlier on in 2019, um, from one of the earlier waves, if we're not counting that one, I haven't bought an, bought an, I haven't bought a Cup Series Denny Hamlin car in uh, several years, but yeah. Here it is out of the package, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the hood. And, gotta say, no issues with it. Yep. Pretty darn good looking hood, I'm not gonna lie. But with that out of the way, let's take a look at the die cast. Now, of course, something I've learned from OBB is we test the windows to see if they're loose, and it doesn't look like this one is, which is good. But yeah, so like I said, this is his Darlington throwback. Um, I forget of what. So my apologies on that. 
but I gotta say, it looks really, really nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously, it looks like the FedEx thing on the back is not uh, centered. If my car, if the camera will pick that up, but it doesn't seem to want to. Um, so yeah. Now, hang on. Now, one second. And I'll, I'll have to look at some of the other cars, but if you look right here, it almost feels like there's a dent in the quarter panel. Like right where my right where my thumb is. Like see, I don't know if you can catch it, but right there, that little what looks like a line or something. That looks like a dent. Um, I'll have to look into that with some of my other cars. But yeah, the car itself looks really good. Okay, making sure it moves just so that it doesn't have that that weird issue where I had a problem with it. But anyway, like I said. I haven't bought a new Denny Hamlin car in forever, so I knew that if I wasn't going to be able to get a, you know, at least half the half the wave that I want, I have to get the Danny Hamlin car because, yeah. <laughs> Granted, we don't see a whole lot of Denny Hamlin cars because it's always the same stuff. It's always the same sponsors, the same paint scheme every time. So to get the Darlington throwback, that's kind of a big deal. Because of the fact that, um, because again, because yeah, like I said, you know, but yeah, I mean, and no real issues at, to be quite honest. I mean, the only issue I've found is the FedEx thing on the back not being centered, and uh, what the hell? Okay, well, hold hold up. It feels like it has a similar. Is that a, oh, hang on, I gotta figure this out. Either that's like wrap it, the wrap, or that's a dent or something in the side, in the quarter panel. Oh, uh, okay, it's like, and it's like down both sides. So I, I don't know, that might be a Lionel thing, it might not be, I, I'm not sure, but I've never seen that before, so I'll have to look on my, uh, the other Toyota Camry diecast that I have. But yeah, so that's that review. And if you like what you see, please comment down below and subscribe. Uh, drop a like if you will as well. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you all the next one.